Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Couple bikes through Middle East to prove people are kind. ISIS decided to butcher them. People are not always what they seem to be, and there is a lot of evil out in the world. It seems an increasingly dangerous place these days. My personal opinion is that evil is not a complexity of humans, but instead a state of being for which an individual is responsible for. Unfortunately, a young, idealistic American couple decided to bike through the Middle East to prove to people how kind others are and instead learn just how very wrong they were. There are some mistakes you don't come back from. Jay Austin and Lauren Gagan, both 29, decided last year that they had had it with the daily grind and they quit their office jobs in Washington, D.C. They then decided on taking the trip of a lifetime, a cycling trip around the world. Austin was a vegan who worked for the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development and Gagan was a vegetarian who worked in the Georgetown University Admissions Office. These young altruistic liberals decided that they were wasting their lives working. There's magic out there, in this great big beautiful world, wrote Jay Austin who, along with his partner, Lauren Gagan, gave his two weeks notice last year before shipping his bicycle to Africa. I've grown tired of spending the best hours of my day in front of a glowing rectangle of coloring the best years of my life in swaths of gray and beige," Austin wrote on his blog before he quit. I've missed too many sunsets while my back was turned. Too many thunderstorms went unwatched, too many gentle breezes unnoticed. Noble sentiments unfortunately not shared by those he would soon encounter. The young couple kept records of their year-long foray on Instagram and on a blog. According to the New York Times, they shared the open-heartedness they wanted to embody in the acts of kindness reciprocated by strangers. You read the papers and you're led to believe that the world is a big, scary place," Austin wrote. People, the narrative goes, are not to be trusted. People are bad. People are evil. I don't buy it," he went on. Evil is a make-believe concept we've invented to deal with the complexities of fellow humans holding values and beliefs and perspectives different than our own. By and large, humans are kind. Self-interested sometimes, myopic sometimes, but kind. Generous and wonderful and kind. I wish that were always true. This couple's fatal mistake was to believe their own prose about the nature of some humans in parts of some of the darkest places on the planet. The tragic end for these two liberal dreamers came after they arrived in Tajikistan. That country faces a threat of terrorism and is near northern Afghanistan, which has a significant ISIS presence. They weren't biking directly through ISIS territory, but in the end, it didn't matter. As they rode their bikes on July 29, a car rammed them, according to CBS News. Five ISIS members jumped out of the car and then proceeded to stab the couple to death. They also killed two other cyclists, one from Switzerland and the other from the Netherlands. Just two days later, ISIS claimed credit by releasing a video that showed these same men posing in front of the group's black jihadist flag. They stared into the camera and vowed to kill disbelievers. There is little doubt it was indeed ISIS that took their lives. This could have happened anywhere, but the Middle East is prone to such attacks. It is not a safe place as many mistakenly believe. But then again, neither is Chicago. From the New York Times In the video released by the Islamic State after the couple's death, the men pledging allegiance to the group can be seen sitting on a stone slab, an aquamarine lake partly visible over their left shoulders. It's the kind of panorama that the young couple might have stopped to capture and post on their blog. But in the clip, when these men point to the scenery around them, they vow to slaughter the disbelievers who have overrun their land. This is the result of a liberal mindset that cannot come to terms with violent reality. There are those that wish to hurt others and that have evil intentions. It falls to each of us to protect ourselves and each other. This is why conservatives believe in the Second Amendment so strongly. It's also why the left calling to abolish ICE, their stance against police and their wild swing into unfettered socialism is patently insane. This couple learned how wrong they were too late. Hopefully. America as a whole will learn to face reality before we face a similar fate as a nation. Don't get me wrong. There is a great good in the world. But there is also great evil. Unfortunately for this couple, the latter found them. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.